So today we're going to be doing some adjustments on this Traxxas Summit that we're turning into an E-Revo. In the beginning you see me uh, kind of go past these parts. 5319X are the push rods that go with the Progressive 3, I think, Progressive 3 rockers. Let me make sure on that. Yes, Progressive 3. 5359 and then I bought these hot racing springs. They're supposed to be I think 19 pounds So they ought to stiffen this thing up quite a bit So this is a pretty straightforward install just a couple of bolts here and there. It's nothing too hard First of all, we're going to take off the wheels and just to get us some room to work We're going to take off the uh, front and rear shock tower slash bumper assembly just held on with three little screws here. One, two, and three. One, two, and Next three. thing we're gonna do, since we're taking them off anyways for those progressive threes, is take off these rockers. You got two in front and two in back. It's just this one screw here. Uh, after we do that, we'll take these out, so. Oof. Now, we're going to take off these two screws here. There's two on each rocker, and the rockers will come off in kind of like a clamshell half fashion. And then, because we got to put new springs on, we're also going to take these here out. And that will allow us to get to our shocks. Alright, now that we have our push rods uninstalled, and our sh or not uninstalled, but removed, we've got our shocks here as well. I'm just going to kind of splay them out. These guys have little bearings in them, and they pull right off that pin there. I'm saying they come off in a clamshell, just like that. These, as you can tell, are long travel. And what we're putting on is progressive threes, and they should make the truck a little firmer. So we're just going to peel all of these off. I'm going to pop the bearings out put them in the new ones that's the new ones no the new ones do not come with bearings one other thing we're gonna do while we have this apart we have the progressive three rockers here apparently you have to use these push rods with the progressive three rockers they're a different length so there's your part number and again part number for the rockers there we go so we're gonna go ahead and take the bearings put them in this and while we're at it, before we have to fiddle around all in the truck here, we're just going to go ahead and attach these to the correct side of the rockers. That way all we got to do is set them on there and bolt them down. And we'll be good all to right. go. So we got all these assembled and they are ready to be put on the truck. We have the rear ones here, front ones here. And they're laid out exactly how they would go on the chassis. So we just take these, feed the little rod through there. And then move the shocks out of the way. And they fit on just like that. You do that on all four corners and then put the bolts into the proper holes. You're good to go. All right. Got all the rockers back on their pegs. We're still going to have to bolt these down right in here. And then on the front, they fit. Uh, well, that one's got to be undone and taken out. But you can see they fit on the front right down there like so before we do that though we're going to change out the springs. all right so these shocks are a little weird because they have dampeners inside of them some shocks don't have these and all you got to do is pull up and then push your retainer to the side but these will not come off unless first you come in here with an allen wrench or something and you see that little blue piece in there we're going to slide that up, that way it will give enough room for this to move, because when they're down inside this, they kind of get in the way. So now what we do, we'll back off these springs all the way. Give us a little bit of slack to play with, right? We take these, this is why I have a long thumbnail by the way. <laughs> Literally falls off by itself. This is what I was talking about with that little rubber piece though. If it is down in here, then you're going to have a hard time 
getting that piece to clear that shaft. So pull them up and then it'll just drop off. And that's how you change out the springs on these Revo shocks. Pretty simple, but for those who don't know, yeah, that's how you do it. We're going to be replacing it with those. They are a little longer and let's see how they feel. about the same maybe a little stiffer so um, if you really want to get into tuning suspension on these Revos you look at the labels here different labels are different weight shocks and from the factory it comes with different front and rear at least on the summit it did I don't know about the like Revo nitros and things like that but these are same weight we're going to be putting front and rear. This is not a race truck. It's meant to hit jumps and have fun with. So yeah, it'll be All fine. Right, so just quickly how to put them back together here. Just take the spring. Put it on the shock. And grab it like this. There's multiple ways you can do this. You can also just kind of feed this thing in like that till it seats on the spring. And then push it into place. But I normally just kind of... Take the spring with my thumbnail, my fingernails, and just do it like that. Now they're back together. And I tell you what, that gold on that black looks sick. <laughs> so there we go. Now we're ready to do the reverse process. Put all these back in and button it all back together. So show you a little process of that. You just go ahead and put them back where they belong, and you're good to go. All right. So we got it all buckled up and good to go everything's on it these new springs seem fairly all right i may have to tighten the collars down but that's just fine little adjustments here and there we are going to do tires next right now i'm just running my old creighton tires on it and they have a rip in one of the sidewalls where's it at all right there it is but they'll run until we get them some new tires I'm not sure what I'm gonna go with, but yeah, you gotta put the front and rear shock tower bumper brace things on and your recommendation. Hmm? Your recommendation. I don't know, I think I already know what we're gonna do for tires, but I mean Yeah, the stock geode rims, wheels, and maybe Yeah, maybe. Something like that, or the other ones we were thinking of, or something like these. That would also look pretty good. The only thing about these is I'm not sure if they can handle the power, and for two, they're probably not going to deliver the best grip. But we're going to get the uh, wheels and body and everything back on it, and then we'll take a look at these beautiful springs from, you know, while they're under the body. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to test drive it today. It's getting dark out. By the time I get batteries charged, it'll it'll be dark. But let's see how it runs with them at some point. All right. So sorry about my food sitting there. I got the shakes, so I had to get me something to eat. But it's pretty much done. You can see the little gold springs peeking out from under there. I think they look really cool. Um, this isn't the final look. Again, wheels and tires, probably a different body. But at the same time, it doesn't look half bad like that. So, I like the way it turned out. I like the red push rods on it and everything like that. It looks good. The uh, new springs are way, way better than the old. And I barely have them tightened down at all on the collars. So, yeah. I dropped it from over a foot while ago and it didn't bottom out. So, <laughs> definitely a... Uh, a better setup than it was. Let's see how much I got the shock collars tightened down. They're not much. A little tighter in the rear. But yeah. Definitely a much nicer setup than it was before the spring change. So yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, see y'all next time.